What causes speech and language disorders? Let's get into it. I'm bringing this information to you today from ASHA, the American Speech Language and Hearing Association, and they have collected research and provided this to us today. So I have a link uh, in the description below if you wanna check out uh, some more information from them. But let's get into it, the 14 reasons, okay? The first one is a family history of speech and language delay. Now what that means is there is a genetic component and that's definitely beyond your control as a parent. It just is what it is. The second reason, and these are in no particular order, they're not most common to least common or most impactful to least impactful. And these are uh, in no particular order. So number two is a premature birth. We have found that that is commonly a reason for speech and language disorders and that is because that that little baby just wasn't ready, right? That brain was still developing, right? And so especially the speech and language parts of the brain were still developing. Reason number three is kind of along with that is a, a low birth weight. Often preemies are low birth weight, but even full-term babies who are low birth weight, we found that that is um, often a reason that is linked to speech and language disorders. Reason number four is hearing loss. Now, this is a big one that people don't always think about or look into. And as a speech language pathologist, I always check a child's file to make sure that they have had a hearing screening, hopefully recently. All children in America um, go through a newborn hearing screening. And so that's important. And often, you know, those come out just fine. But it's important to also get to your child's hearing checked later on, especially if uh, a speech and language delay is, is happening because that can often go undetected. And it's really important. So if you think about it, um, your child, you, you may be noticing that they're not uh, following directions, that they're not turning to their name, they're not reacting to noises, um, like maybe there's a siren outside, there was a crash in the kitchen, and they're not turning to look at it. Those are definite red flags that you um, want to pay attention to and then seek out a hearing evaluation. Maybe though your child is turning to noises, but they're not um, attending to voices as much. Maybe they hear the dog barking, but they don't hear um, you calling their name, Adam, Adam, and they're not turning to that. That sometimes happens too, because hearing loss, and I'll add a link below, to the speech banana hearing loss, you know, it it doesn't mean either you can uh, not hear or you can hear. Maybe you can hear certain things but not other things. And really important is those speech things. Maybe they're only hearing certain sounds in speech and so they're, they're only hearing parts of what people are saying. And so it's really important, get your child's hearing tested. I always look for that because maybe it is um, causing a speech language delay because they're missing out on parts of language. If your child has had frequent ear infections, that's also a really um, big part of that hearing loss. When their ears are infected and full of fluid, their hearing is impacted and they're not able to hear clearly. So they're again missing out on parts of speech. Uh, you may not be able to tell that your child has a, a ear ache or a um, ear infection. Maybe they're not showing signs of pain. So keep an eye out for it. If you haven't had your child's hearing tested and you are noticing speech and language delays, get it tested. I'm telling you, it's worth it, okay? You just wanna rule that out. Reason number five is autism. Now, I don't want this to scare you. A lot of parents are really scared of autism, but autism is uh, inherently a speech and language disorder and social communication disorder combined together. So if you're seeing social delays in your child as well as speech and language delays, that's definitely an indicator that autism needs to be looked into. And we're um, getting really good as a field um, for child development and psychology, diagnosing autism younger and younger and recognizing those red flags. Look out for another video from me on red flags for autism and um, what to do, okay? I'll be making that video soon and I'll post a link in the description when it's ready. Reason number six is intellectual disabilities and what that means is that your child is cognitively uh, delayed 
and that can be for a variety of reasons but when that little brain is not um, working quite right then that does mean often that speech and language is going to be impacted as speech and language starts in the brain just as everything else does. Number seven is syndromes. Now that syndromes like Down syndrome, Fragile X syndrome, and those are commonly diagnosed at birth. Reason number eight is fetal alcohol syndrome which is caused by a mother consuming alcohol during the pregnancy and that can have many terrible uh, impacts on a child including speech and language disorder and that is diagnosed at birth as well. Number nine is stroke. Now this is um, not a very common one but it's definitely impacted and stroke is when there is um, a blockage of blood flow and oxygen to the brain causing brain damage. I'm going to zoom through the next three. These are brain injuries, tumors, cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is also diagnosed at birth usually. And then next I want to talk about nutrition. Nutrition is really key and I'll be making a video soon about nutrition tips too. Now this nutrition component starts prenatal too, right? We just talked about fetal alcohol syndrome and um, how important it is what a mommy puts into her body um, does affect the child and I'm no nutrition expert but I have been learning and researching along the years and I have recently learned that um, not only nutrition for a healthy strong body and brain but um, being careful of different toxins like heavy metals especially lead if you are living in a home that is older uh, built before 1978 then there is a risk that your home may have lead in the paint and um, in the em environment so we really want to be careful about the water the water pipes um, also uh, a place where lead can be found and that is uh, linked to developmental delays and speech and language delays so uh, if your house is older Get some water test strips. I'll provide a, a link below and test your water. Um, it's important to clean off the dust on the windowsills and on the walls and make sure your child is washing hands and drinking filtered water and all of that um, so that we can really limit the exposure to heavy metals, especially lead. Also, we are learning in science, health food science, that um, food dyes are actually affecting our children and especially um, for hyperactivity, okay? So while hyperactivity and language disorder is not the same thing, but if your child is hyperactive and they're not settled down, they're not learning they're, uh, and taking in the environment quite to the extent that a child who is regulated and calm. <laughs> so um, that's, that's just little tidbits about nutrition right there, but nutrition has been identified as a cause for speech and language disorders. More on that in a future video. And the last one that has been identified as a cause is what's called failure to thrive. And this means that a baby or child has uh, given up the will to live based on uh, trauma and life experiences. You're sitting here listening and you're like, gosh, Kayla, those 14 reasons you listed, uh, none of those. I can't identify any of those. We've looked into um, hearing loss and we've looked into autism and there's no family history well honestly the other piece of it is sometimes we just don't know sometimes it just happens it's there um, and you know there's more research to be done so I'm excited to see what we find in the years to come subscribe click like um, share with someone you know and look out for future videos so I can help you um, learn how to's for your child and your late talker okay thanks so much bye